Today I'm going to show you how to use a tab bar controller programmatically with um, Xcode 4.5. So again, we create a new Xcode project. This time you choose empty application. And I'm going to call this one tab bar tutorial. And devices will be iPhone. And we're going to use automatic reference counting for this one. And you don't need core data for this, so just uncheck it. Just click next and create. So here, um, what we see is the app delegate um, header file and implementation file that's been created for us. And but you don't see the other view controllers that you normally see if you were to create the project with a single view controller. So first, we're gonna um, create a couple of a couple of views. Um, so new file, and then Objective C class. We're gonna call this View Controller One, and View Controller Controller One will be a subclass of UI View Controller. And tick this uh, with zip for user interface, and then create. So that's your um, view controller one header file, implementation file, and the zip file. And we're going to do the same thing again. Uh, new file and Objective C class and Coco Touch. And this one we're going to call this view controller too. And it will also be a subclass of UI view controller. And ha make sure to have this ticked again. The zip for user interface. Click next and then create. So those are your two um, view controller one and view controller two. So we're gonna select our view controller one zip file. I'm gonna have a label in here saying um, in view controller one, and uh, I'm gonna make the background of this. Uh, I'm gonna make the background of this green. And in our view controller two, I'm gonna have another label saying um, in view controller two. And the background of this, I'm gonna make it blue. All right. So you have your green and blue. Green is view controller one, and blue is view controller two. And what we're gonna do now is in our app delegate dot m. We're going to need to import the two view controller header files. So import view controller 1.h and import view controller 2.h. And in the did finish launching with options uh, method, we are going to um, create a UI tab bar controller object. Um, I'm going to call this T. The um, tab bar controller, okay. TBC equals um, UI tab bar controller alloc init, and then I'm gonna create an instance of our view controller one. VC one equals view controller one alloc init. And I'm gonna create a view controller two, VC two, view controller two, alloc in it. All right. And from there, we're going to set the titles of um of each of our view controllers. So VC one dot tab bar item set title. I'm gonna call the title. I'm gonna call the this one tab one. The title of the view controller two. I'm going to call it. Guess what? Tab two. There. And um, and we are going to set the tab bar. The the view controllers of the TBC, which is our instance of the tab bar controller. So we're going to do this by saying TBC set. Uh, set view controller set view controllers and it's gonna be an NS it's gonna take an NS array um, let's see it should say array with objects yeah, array with objects and then 
VC1, our objects will be VC1 and VC2 and nil. Okay, so that's our TVC. And in the end, we this one is very important. We have to set the root view controller. Otherwise, um, nothing's going to show up in our window. So we do this by saying self.window set root view controller, set it to be the TBC. And from there, that, that should make it show up. So let's check it on our iPhone simulator. Click run. And let's see. Okay. It's taking a while to load. But it will come up. There it is. Alright, so now it says in view controller one with the green background button. And when we click on tab two, it's the blue blue background button saying in view controller two. Again, tab one, tab two. And you can do this for more than two tabs. So you can do this for um for a third tab if you want, just add another view controller, modify your zip file, and do the same thing here. Import the view controller 3, um, do some stuff here, uh, do an instance of view controller 3, then set the title, and then add it to your objects of, of the UI tab bar controller. And it's going to show up with the third tab if you do that. So that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.